Hi, it's Newson from New Horizons. Today we're going to look at the idea of building blocks and autotext. Autotext has been used in Word since its inception. Basically, autotext is where we can use, save, reusable text and bring it bring it back really quickly with an alias name. But first, I have to introduce you to a building blocks, which is basically subsumed autotext. Autotext is a part of building blocks. Now, to find building blocks or to insert a building block, which is basically a part of a doc a reusable part of a document. We're going to go to quick parts here. Uh, we're going to go to insert quick parts. I'm going to go to building blocks organizer. Now building blocks uh, have a name. They belong to a particular gallery and now auto text has become one of those galleries. There are categories and they can be saved in one of two templates. Yeah. Now what we need to be aware of is this is the central location for all building blocks. Now there are cover pages that are building blocks, there are text boxes that are building blocks, but what we'll do is we'll look at the pinstripes cover pages. This isn't the only place where we can insert the cover pages, but we'll insert, so we've looked at it, we've clicked on it, it tells us the gallery that it's cover page, it's built in, it's a built in one, you'll find it in every version of Word 2010, and if I click, I've highlighted it, it's given me a preview, if I click on insert, it will insert this building block, okay? and this is just a document uh, cover page where I could type in the title I'm actually going to undo that now I went to I was in insert and I went to quick parts and I went to building blocks and that was part of the text group in the insert ribbon now because that's a cover page that pinstripe I could have easily gone to the cover pages which will basically show all the cover pages only and there's pinstripes again and I can click here and bring it up so basically the building blocks if we I'm gonna undo that now the building blocks when I go to insert the text group and quick parts and building blocks it shows us everything from all the different galleries so that was just looking at cover pages when I went up there but building blocks will show me everything so if I wanted to insert a particular footer for example exposure I could do it from here and click on insert and it will insert that that footer yeah so I'll click on insert there's that footer exposure right it's giving me a little bit of an error but that footer would always also be available in if I went to insert and I went to footer exposure would be down here as well let's have a look see there it is as well it's part of the footers gallery so the building blocks the actual insert text group, quick parts, building blocks organizers shows us all the building blocks from all the different galleries which are really subdivisions. Now what we can do is we can add to this building blocks, we can add to a gallery and the gallery we're going to add to, although it's not here, we can also sort by these as well, the name, the gallery and the category. I'm just going to sort by gallery and we've got bibliographies here as well. I'm going to click on close. We can add to this now how would I add text or graphics to that? Well first I've got to type in the text that I want. I'll just type in some random text. I'm going to type in two, this is going to give me two paragraphs of two sentences. Yeah? And there we go. So now let's suppose I want this, I want to save this down as a particular building block so that when I type in a code or if I go to quick parts it will always be there. How do I do that? Well I'm going to go I've got to highlight it first, so I've highlighted it, and I'm going to click on Quick Parts, and I'm going to save the selection to Quick Part Gallery. So this will only be available once I've highlighted it. Save selection to Quick Part Gallery. I'm going to click on it. Now, remember those galleries we saw in the building blocks? Well, they're all here as well. Now, I'm going to save it to a particular gallery called Auto Text, right? And I'm going to call this. I can give it a two. I'll call it. DUM because we know it's dummy text, yeah? DUM, yeah? Dummy text, yeah? That I might want. And I'm going to save it in the auto text gallery. I could give it a subcategory if I wanted to. I'll just say uh, description dummy text uh, for purposes of demonstration. Now, I have the ability to save it in different templates. Now if I want it accessible to all documents I either save it in normal dot or in my building blocks and when I actually close the document it will prompt me to save my normal dot as well. 
I can insert the content only, I can insert it in its own paragraph, or I can insert the content in its own page. I'll just insert the content for now. So that's the name I've given it, DUM, Auto Text, Category General, click on OK. There we go. Yeah, And that's done. May look very simple, it's saved down, it's now there. Now if I delete that, right, and I go to Quick Parts, and I go to Auto Text, can we see that DUM is there? And if I click on that, it's there now. It's inserted. Yeah? And there is another way I can bring it up as well. If I type in DUM and press F3, the F3 function key on the keyboard, that will retrieve it as well. The DUM is the alias name that I've assigned this auto text entry. Let me repeat that again. How did I do that? I typed in the word DUM, the alias I'd given it, and I pressed F3, the function F3 key on the keyboard. Press that, and that will retrieve it after typing the name. I'm going to undo that. So, we looked at building blocks. We looked at calling building blocks names. What I might want to do now, suppose I don't want this here, what I can do, this auto text entry, I've got two options. We can go to building blocks organizer and we'll see that it's there now. It's in the name, it's called DUM, it's called auto text, and it, I've given it a category of general. I can give them different um, categories if I wanted to. So it's part of my auto text gallery. I can edit its properties, I can delete it, um, and I can close. If I wanted to add more text to it, what I could do is say, suppose I wanted to add something to this paragraph, like say, Newson is almost finished. Let's suppose I wanted to add this to this paragraph. What I could do is I could highlight it again. Now highlight it again. I'm going to go to Quick Parts. I'm going to save selection to Quick Part Gallery. What I need to do is I need to give it the same exact name. Right, so gallery, save it in the same exact gallery, auto text, and that's fine. Insert content. Oh, now, what, look what it does now. It's going to say, do you want to redefine the building block entry? Because I've actually added something to it. So I'll say yes. I want to redefine it. So now, now it's redefined. Well, I'm going to delete this. It will remember that new addition that I've added to it. So how do I bring it back again without going? I could go to quick parts and go auto text hover over the auto text, there's DUM again, click on here, that'll bring it back. I can also type in its alias name, DUM, and then press F3 on the function keyboard and that will bring it back as well. Yeah. Don't forget, this can apply to graphics as well. It doesn't have to be text, it can apply, you can save down graphics this way as well. So, that's how I modify it. Now I want to get rid of it because, you know what, I don't want it in my auto text anymore, so I'm going to go to auto text, I'm going to right click on it here and I'm gonna say can you see organize and delete I've got I can insert at different places I can edit its properties organize and delete click on that it takes me back to building blocks because this is ultimate building block and if I click on delete it's gone there we go close right and now when I go to quick parts now and I go auto text it will disappear when I close my document let me, ch let me check that if it, let's just see I'm gonna close my document now I think it won't it'll still appear let me close my document now close don't save and I'll, what I'll do is I'll bring up a brand new document file new blank document and let's see if I go back to insert fingers crossed it's no longer there it's gone because I closed the document and if I type in DUM and press F3 it's gone as well yeah I needed to kind of close the document to get rid of it, but still remembered it. Right, hope that helps, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.